Inserting Counterbore Holes The counterbore tools are available on the Content tab's Holes panel. Click on the title of the Holes panel, select Counterbore, and either select a counterbore to clear a standard fastener, or user size counterbore where you would specify the diameter and depths. Let's start with an ANSI counterbore. Top view, and now you need to select the type of fastener that the counterbore is to clear. In this case, I will select the first choice. And now I need to select the size of that fastener. In this case, I will pick 9 16 Click Next, and I am prompted for an insertion point. The insertion point's coordinates are displayed in the upper right corner. I could click on the button with the arrow to reposition this. The insertion angle really doesn't apply here since this is a top view. I will use the button to the right of the GL1 insert field to pick the size of this hole. In this case, the hole is going to go from the top all the way through to the bottom. And that is indicated in the GL1 field. Click Finish, and now I have a chance to specify some values within certain parameters. I will click OK to take the default values. And now I will insert the front view of a user-defined counterbore. Start the counterbore command again. Indicate user-sized. Front view. Front view again. Insertion point hole length, and the dialog box appears where I can indicate the counterbore diameter, the counterbore depth, and the nominal diameter. In this case, I will take the default on all of these. And there's my user inserted counterbore. Inserting countersunk holes. Select the countersink command from the holes panel on the content tab. You have the choice of a user-defined countersink or a countersink to match a standard fastener. I'll choose ANSI countersinks, top view, and now I'll select the type of fastener that this countersink is to match. Pick the size of the fastener, in this case 5 8 the insertion point, the depth of the hole, finish, and there the countersink has been added. I will add a user-defined countersink in the side view. Start the countersink hole command again. Select user countersink, front view, front view again, insertion point, And now I can indicate the nominal diameter for the hole, the countersink diameter, and the countersink angle. All three of these choices have measure buttons available. In this case, I will select Finish to accept these defaults.